When looking at this questionnaire and going through it, I was not surprised to find that there were little issues um, that could need discussion between my partner and I, as we've had many issues before and learned gradually over the course of our relationship to master our communication on these issues. The only issues between my partner and I that were worthy of a possible discussion, which these discussions had been discussed at length, were financial issues and familial issues. As I only work part-time, so bring in a lot less income than my partner does, but him and I have also discussed that this is just a temporary arrangement as when I get my degree, I will most likely be making more money than he will. So he supports me right now and I contribute what I can. And so that way later in life, uh, I will be the one to support him. And the other issue is family wise, as we both come from difficult home lives. Uh, my mother is very unsupportive in a lot of what I do and the decisions that I make, both whether beneficial or negatively impactive for me. And he has only recently come into contact with his mother, but so far things have been good and I feel accepted by his family. It's just hard that he's not accepted by mine. But that has resulted in a conversation on how we rely on our chosen families for the love and support that we don't get from our biological families. And within those chosen families, we do feel very loved and accepted. So um, I think that a lot of these issues could be brought up in a questionnaire like this and can be very beneficial for other couples, especially in the sections that revolve around family and um, how children are managed and disciplined, as well as how house chores are managed. And while my fiance and I couldn't really discuss much on children, as we don't have any, we, when we first moved in together, we had a lengthy discussion on house chores and who does what at what point and how that kind of balances out and it hasn't been an issue before. However, in a lot of other relationships, that may be an issue. So a questionnaire like this may be very beneficial. When discussing these issues with my fiance and I, they're not necessarily arguments, but they were difficult topics to discuss. So it was a difficult conversation to have, but ultimately ended in laughter as we frequently joke about um, the stuff that my mother says both to my face and behind my back that I eventually hear about. And we also joke about our kind of finances because we are not the most financially stable people, but really him and I are on the same page that what matters the most is having a roof over our head, having food and both having a car that we can drive, which has never been an issue with our limited finances. And I feel that um, this also, again, may, be, may bring up great conversations for other couples. And as has been stated multiple times in the course and through Gottman's research, um, communication is the main definer in whether a relationship will be healthy or unhealthy. So I think tools like this are one of uh, just a great resource to um, kind of open the door to those discussions, especially if there is a level of dissatisf dissatisf dissatisfaction felt by one or both people in the relationship. Uh, something that I have seen on social media is couples that will sit together and have like whether well, annual meetings, monthly meetings, uh, meetings, but really just like having those moments where they kind of sit through and discuss what has been working, what hasn't been working, and how they can both improve in themselves and how they can improve the relationship. So I feel that a questionnaire like this and other tools can be greatly beneficial in those meetings and can help, you know, solve some of that dissatisfaction and improve the relationship as a whole and help individuals kind of work towards their goals, both in the relationship and with themselves.